Oh, you went to SeaWorld? <coughs> yeah, this is from a couple of years back. So, uh, adventures in marketing, part two. I do apologize for the silly titles. It's, it's actually required. Uh, George Lucas set up. Uh, the first one was called, you know, um, I think, uh, Search for the Lost Marketing Committee, uh, and now it's, you know, Indiana Clubs. And there was a Dean. Where are we, my thrilling tale of marketing pearl? Um, a couple of years ago, I started to push pearl a little bit more. I did a keynote here, and I've been doing marketing talks since then. Uh, and a lot of people have noted I seem to have a name for it, Mark Keating is Marketing. Um, so, uh, I thought, I should get more involved in doing even more things uh, to promote Pearl. So if you don't know what those are, and I think most people in the room do know, but if you don't know, I do one or two things um, in, in the Pearl world. And this doesn't actually cover everything. This, I, I went through this. This is from last year. Um, I went through It's actually wrong. There are a few things missing from it. It doesn't have any of the blogs on it. it I got told off that it has no blog post written on it, no to find me at all. It doesn't do the Google Plus search, it doesn't do Facebook, Twitter, and a number of ways that I keep on moaning at people through those things. So you can actually find me in six characters, mdk.me, in the URL bar. And then there's some feeds and there's links on that page. So if you can't find me, you're just not looking hard enough. There's a lot of action been taken in the Pearl community in about 18 months to two years. I'm going to say that's me because I started it first. But there's a lot of action been done. Um, a lot of done on marketing, in read and vitalize insights, in resources. We've seen Pearl.org get a facelift and it looks pretty. Um, a lot of work being done now to the Pearl FAQs to bring that up to date. If you follow Pearl Cats on Twitter or if you can go to uh, Leo Lackworth's GitHub page, you can submit to the Pearl FAQs without bitching about it. It's really easy. Um, and they are set patches. Pearl Foundation got a face it because the original site when I came to it, it looked so 1980s. Um, but there was a wonderful design already out by JJ. I put an interim design up and then I grabbed JJ at the APSE EU and, well, presented him from actually having any fun for an afternoon while I made him implement this design which he'd already had got ready. That's really pretty. I want to do some more stuff with it actually. I want to do some interactive stuff if I can. But um, we've also done a lot of cleaning up of the crust on the site taking them down of old pages, old links. There's still so much to do. You would not believe how many pages of old stuff there was. Uh, you, unless, of course, you'd ever been to the site, then you probably would believe how much old, crappy stuff there was. When I came to the site as well, the most recent article on it was 10 months old. So that's changed. Now all the articles have a date on them, so we can find them and remove them fairly quickly. And we try to keep the information up to date. In fact, the last piece of information was put up was uh, two weeks ago. It was no, a week and a half ago, 5th of January. And there'll, there'll be some more coming up on it, I think, probably this weekend, for the next conference that's going to be in the schedule, which will be Baltimore. Mm -hmm. So, we also updated the Enlightened Pearl Organization website. That was part of the Google coding, though. That's a misnomer. The, I got a refreshed design because I was having trouble thinking of a design. So I got somebody to give me a, a good idea. And if you go to this blog post, it will show you the design idea they gave that I then worked from. So there's a bit of back and forth on it. Um, and it's worthwhile if you don't even want to read the text, just go and look at the full pictures and you'll see the evolution of a design. Modern Pearl books um, are going forward. Of, um, I mean, two days ago, Chromatic released the 2011 stroke 2012 edition. I think he really should have dropped the 2011. Just, <laughs> if he's going to do editions, call it for the start of the year, 2012 edition. Because otherwise it's just silly. It now sounds like it's a year after date and it was only, it was only printed two days ago. Um, but he's also got other people writing books. I'm looking forward to Jess Robinson's the big book. Not because I'll understand it, but because I like Jess Robinson. Um, that, that would be nice for her. Um, there's lots of new O'Reilly books as well. New editions of O'Reilly books. Um, Brian Defoy has been very busy, I, I think, bringing things up today. He brought Learning Pearl up to 5.14. So that's already out of date as of about May this year, because it'll be 5.16. Um, and one may continue to be distracted from programming. <laughs> and uh, and the other good thing about working at Modern Pearl Book is uh, Chromatic has this great idea of putting it online for free and accepting material to it for free, which is a great way forward for us. Pearl Weekly is uh, there and it's getting bigger. It's got about 2,500 subscribers. Gabor's committed to trying making this a better product and he's committed himself to another year of doing it. It collects news weekly and if you're not a major tech person at all, following the community a large amount. It can be very useful. If you've got a tech manager, you can point them at it, and they'll get a, some semblance of what, what's happening in the community. They'll, they'll get all the major events happening in the community, and some of the best blogs. 
Well, news uh, is continuing to be developed, but I, I need to kick people about that. Mostly Ranga. He's not busy enough, so. Um, last year, also, we, I, I came across the Pearl Foundation document on the press releases page. This was it. Um, this was the press release. Um, it was three pages long. We designed somewhere. Um, I, I looked through it. It took a, about five minutes. I threw it away, and I produced a 20-page document that has quotes about the foundation, tells you the things you need to know, and tells you stuff that actually you can put in front of a manager. It's, it's more in the type of conversation a manager would have, rather than what looked like a technician's son did in the weekend. Um, so you can print these things out now. They're getting updated as well, so I put the, the latest quotes in. So if you want a latest quote from somebody about the Pearl world, who may be a manager, or, or, or being donating to Pearl, that's where you'll find them. There's also a standardised set of press releases that come out. These again can be printed out or pinned up. Um, or just mailed to people. I, I, I don't care what, just get them out there. Flyers, and a redesign of all the flyers, because I keep on handing these out though. I didn't bring any because I had a weight allowance, and I was very near the top with, with carrying four cameras. <laughs> so I didn't bring any with me, but you can print them out from the Pearl Foundation press releases page. There's a 2012 one that's not actually on those pictures, it's a sort of collection of these three. And there's a new sticker. I do have some of these. So I have new stickers with me. So take some of those away and, and stick them to people. I, I've heard PHP programmers actually turn into Pearl programmers if you stick one of these on them. <laughs> um, there are some briefing papers on the Alive and Pearl site. I want more of these. These are, again, aimed at people who perhaps are more technical managers rather than de developers themselves. Uh, I give them ideas of how to interact with the Pearl world. The first one was done by Mike Whitaker, which was on finding good Pearl developers. Um, and if anybody's got a need or a wish to write some, um, please talk to me. Well, those are called briefings? Yeah, Pearl briefing papers. Um, Google some of code last year. Where's Raffle? He's not there. Good. Uh, Raffle, he was terrible. He was on me. Shit, it's being videoed. Uh, no, Raffle did a fantastic job last year of doing the Google Summer of Code. 100% success rate. All our students passed. Uh, it was brilliant, and it was mostly because uh, Duke Lito did such formative work in the previous days and wasn't with us last year. Um, what can I say? Apart from it was really good, the people stayed in the community as well. Hopefully we're going to have the same thing this year. Uh, there'll be some information soon. Hopefully Google will announce soon. It's round about now they announce. Oh, about the next year? Or? Yeah, about the, if they're going to do it again this year. I expect they will, but they, 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 they do don't it. give anything away. Yeah, they don't want to promise anything, but I, I yeah. assume. The main part of this is, is that we're going to need a set of ideas for this year. We can't rely on Raffle to come up with the ideas and be an organiser as well. So we've got some ideas for Google Summer Code projects. Um, start talking to us now. I will be putting some links up in a post soon to say where you can put it. <laughs> and, and just as a, a crowdsourcing way, I, I did this. I organized Google Summer of Code for Pro Foundation for many years. Um, if you just want a very low cost way of saying, oh, this is a task for a GCI student or a GSOC student, if you use GitHub issues or RT or whatever, just create like a little tag or a thing that's like beginner or starter or whatever you want to call it. And then later you can say, Hey, the, these are all my tasks, and they have some tag, like beginner or something yep. like that. Yeah. So, after this meta CPAP, got a lot of work from Moritz, part of the Google Summer Code. Um, it's a great thing. I mean, what can we say? Everybody knows about meta CPAP. If you don't, but every bit. It's awesome. It, it, it's awesome, and it's <laughs> it long may continue to get better. Google Code in this year, um, first time we've participated as a Pro Foundation on our own, I think. Yeah, pretty yeah. much the first town. Yeah, on it's, only it's only in its third year, actually. They, they had a break. It was called something else. It was else. called something else, but it's essentially the same initiative. It's an initiative where 13 to 17 year olds get involved with the community. Uh, we asked the community to give us a little, with some tasks. We got 390 of them. I don't think uh, anybody's had that many. Oh, so we got 390 tasks that we were working on, 56 days in which to do it. Average task length is three days. Now, that's actually <laughs> that's a guess. It's what the mentor guessed they could do within. It's usually going to be a lot less than that, but I, that's the only thing I can go from for one of my metrics, so take that one with a big old pinch of salt. Um, so, after 52 days, which was Wednesday when I did the stats, we had closed 157 tasks, which is 40% of our tasks. There were 2% being claimed, three others have been requested, one were under review, one needed work, and we had 222 tasks that were still open, but when you consider there were 390 to start off with, and these are students that are working on them, that's not a bad ratio. It looks like we're going to end with 43% at the end of the time. 
um, maybe 44. I'm, I'm going to do a, a full review next week. Um, if you add up the days, you could say it's 471 days. <coughs> um, that's the previous um, blog post that tells you all the stats where we were before. Um, in that series will be the full form, which will be the final wind up. So, some more stuff from 2011. It, Garou is here. Had he killed my father? <laughs> um, in 2011, there were 21 versions of Pearl released. So, that's yeah, almost two a month. There were 5,975 commits to the Pearl 5 repo. 915 tickets were created. 928 were closed. 60,000. Hmm? And we'll close it all. Yes. Good. By, by a very short amount. Like 20, 24. 16,197 distributions were loaded to CPAP. 50 a day. 1,873 of those were brand new releases each and every day. 15 new Pearl Monger groups in the year. More than one a month. And good luck to every single one of those. So let's not forget also, as uh, Stephen said it before, we had a new Pearl 5 pumpkin in the shape of Ricardo, so we have something new to annoy, who will perhaps even lose, well, he can't lose his hair because he shaved it off, I think that was a plan. <laughs> Rather than go crazy. bald in the road, he started off bald in the road. He's very crazy. Yeah. And he is already crazy, so that, that's going to be good. Um, <laughs> Ricardo's lovely in a sort of batshit insane crazy kind of lovely way. You can read a lot more about this from... Gary's blog himself. It's, it's a great review to the year and a yearly review now. So, I keep on getting asked about Pearl Foundation and money and funding. And uh, everybody, so I, it, it can be assumed to be considered a crisis in organisational management when you look at it from the outside. It's very, very difficult because a lot of the funding can be targeted funding. People will donate for one thing and we can't use the money for anything else. So. By that ruling, if the Pearl Foundation could have a lot of money and go bankrupt. Uh, which is a situation we almost faced last year where we had no money for the actual running of the organisation and lots of money for Pearl 5 Core and Pearl 6. Because it's targeted, it can't be used to pay for websites, it can't be used to pay for the accounting. So I'm sort of saying to people this year, if you're going to find some funding as well, try to also just donate to Pearl and the, the Foundation. Let us find the best way to use the money. Because that's a good thing. That's not to say that we shouldn't have specific funds. In fact, we started one last year. We called it the Core Maintenance Fund. What we wanted to do was gather money just specifically for the Core, because Dave had been, David Mitchell had been doing great work to work on the Core. If the money was coming, running out, and then Nick Clark said, I'd like to work on the Core as well. So it was a case of, well, we need to get both of these people working on the Core. The result was it was being about $25,000 a quarter to retain both of those two. So we, we asked a few people, we had $60,000 now, which is great. These are just the companies that donated. There are individuals who donated as well. I know of people who donate a regular amount, i.e. they set up a direct debit of $10 a month, just to keep it going. And we'll just let it keep on going. More of that is just as, as important. Booking.com gave us 100,000 euros, which was sweet of them. Wow. And uh, they've given it to Pearl 5. They wow. haven't sent the code. Some of it will get used on the code, but that means there's 100,000 euros. Um, I, I'm hoping to make a, another announcement in the next couple of weeks. Uh, so that, that could be good. There's, there's more good news coming. Um, Just a quick question. Is that a targeted? Did Booking give only to one thing? Or did they give it's to Pearl 5. Okay. Oh, Pearl 6 still has money left though from the hate fund. Yeah. Which was uh, $100,000 was it? Yeah, yeah. $100,000. So the Pearl 6 still has money in its fund for that. Um, this can be used in anything to do with Pearl 5 at all. So it can be used in the grants. So this is a time that if you're thinking of really good grants, this is the time to do it. But you can also ask your bosses to give more donations. Give them to Pearl itself, give them to the Pearl Foundation, give them to the United Pearl Organization. Let the people who are vote, voting as members are running different groups find the best way to use it. Let them promote your company and say, you sponsored this directly. This is how we use your money. That's part of the transparency I want on the reporting back on the TPF pages. This money was used for this thing. And if you're part of that, that would be a good thing. But you can still, if you wish to, give donations to specific funds. If you wish. It would be, it would be nice. So what's in store for this year? There's a documentation drive. Um, I mentioned Pearl.com, mentioned the Pearl Briefing Papers, mentioned the Pearl FAQs. But the wikis need some serious love. Um, or murdering. 
one of the two, because the wikis are so badly out of date, it's, it's, it's criminal. Which wikis are we talking about? Uh, Perl 5 and Perl 6 wikis are linked to you from the front page. Oh. Because they don't have registrations? <laughs> that can be changed, though. That can be changed. Um, you could even suggest perhaps a grant, because we can always replace them. We could always, you know, do a GitHub documentation drive and that, and we'll all put it there, put it on that, and then span that out, spiral it out to a wiki or something like a wiki. Fair enough. At which point, then we just replace the pull five and pull six links on the TPF front page, and that's really easy to do. You know, that's that's easy. So transparency and response is what's needed in the documents, in the actual sites themselves, in the fundraising figures in the community organisations, so you can see how the money is being used and see where it's being used, and us giving back this information. And part of that, of course, will be more administration, and we are going to get to more administration groups. Um, there's probably going to be a fundraising group, and almost definitely a Google Summer of Code, so, so GCI group, so that they can actually have their own funds. Because there's another, that's another funding thing, the Google Summer of Code money, by our rules, can only be sent on the Google Summer of Code. But, Getting the board to decide what is a useful use of that is really hard because they have no idea what the Google Summer of Code does. They think, oh, it's students, and what would you use the money for? Well, we'd use it for advertising, we'd use it on the students to reward them at the end and then bring them back in for the next year. Oh, I'm not sure we should use it on the students. Well, why not? Well, they get paid, so what? <laughs> Who cares? It's, it's don't save money. It's not going to be used for anything else. Use it for advertising and bring in more students in, surely. That's what you use it for. So the way to do that is to have a group that actually has a budget, that they get the budget from the money they've earned. And I, I love sponsors. The sponsors pages on the TPF site and the EPO sites apparently don't love sponsors. So that's a, another big thing. I need to sort out the sponsors pages. If anybody wants to help me, please just shout. Uh, they, there needs to be a nice way of saying these are the things that we've done with your money. Here, here are the people who've given us money and they're part of our community. We should all love and embrace them. So that we can all walk around and go, yeah, that person does it. This person does it. It's a good thing to your own company to say, but who else is sponsored? And you can just point them at a big old list. We need to redesign a few more of those websites. Jobs.pill.org needs a lot of love. Um, there was a design done for it, but it's uh, apparently a bit too crowded, so it needs to be reworked. Um, and there's a couple of other sites that need the same sort of thing. They need to bring it up to date with the, uh, the current designs. And if you manage or are part of a site that you want, <coughs> remember there's people who already have these patterns now. They have the designs. You can put it under the uh, design that's being used for Perl.org or Perl.com. Or you can put it under the design that's being used for EPO or the TPF. You can reuse and pattern the same and have links to them. There's no reason why we can't do that. We need to revisit Yaxi.org because... Uh, really seriously needs to be cleaned up and made easy so that people can put their own um, conference on it without, without it needing one person doing it who clearly can't keep up. It's, it's too difficult to put, make these one point of entry. It should be multiple points of entry. It should be whoever has got the two weeks to do it. There's a few other sites getting some love this year. Send a newbie site will be seen a redesign. There's going to be changes to the Iron Man sites entirely. Uh, presenting Poll.org is already getting a lot of love. Um, so they're all getting being done, and they've been done also with virtual hack days. Northwest England up here, they're having four virtual hack days this year. So you can get involved with those. Um, and we're going to get a line together and do stuff. We've already started, we had one last year. So um, just, just go to that post, and you'll look and find the li links to go and get, get involved with that. I mentioned documents, there's another big thing that's happening. If you're familiar with Food Magazine, if you speak German, um, it's produced by Reddy Backer, and it's... Um, a collection of voluntary articles. People submit articles about pill things. They're then printed in German. Um, really makes enough money to actually produce this thing from it, from advertising. You know, possibly not enough, but lots of money from that. And he gives quite a lot of money back to the community. I, I mentioned to him that there was nothing like that in the English language anymore. At Yaps EU last year. He thought that was me telling him that there should be, I think. Because he said to me this year, I'm going to go and do it. It was a good idea that you gave me. So I have to now tell all of you that you need to submit some articles in English. And if you've got blog posts that you've written that can be easily rewritten, submit them to him. Because uh, he can be launching through English version later this year. You may be in the inaugural copy. So it, it, there's a good thing that we can have. And if, we, if it gets popular enough, maybe we can get a Japanese version out there as well. Because there's nothing wrong with having a written version of something that could be, you can get as a PDF or you can get as a printout. 
Let us know a journal. Let us know a review. Indeed. Uh, so, once again, I need people to do things. <laughs> Uh, and I need everybody to get involved with the community on the other side of being a developer and the other side is all the infrastructure and the marketing and the promotion of Pearl. Not just by um, being aware of it, but by occasionally doing one or two things. Such as picking up some flyers or printing out flyers and placing it in places, putting stickers on PHP developers' foreheads to turn them magically into Pearl developers. In fact, I need you to do it any way you're going to think that this will gain interest. Um, especially schools, colleges, technical clubs, meeting places, places of work, community centres, and as Dylan pointed out to me today, I'm not stupid, at local computer shops, especially if they're favourable towards open source and Linux, or even if they're not, if they've got somebody there who thinks, oh, that might be a good idea, we might be able to expand our market, get them on there as well, get them any way you can, any way you think it will be seen, and I do not care if you decide to do every single bus route in the Western world, <laughs> because then my mum will see it, and I'll say, oh, well, you see, now you understand, you've seen it. Are you supposed to be done? No. Uh, I'm also okay. married direct com Stephen left late. It's his fault. Go see him. <laughs> I'm in direct competition with Wait, Pearl Masons. Because apparently Who's Dave, Dave Cross. <laughs> Tell them to stop. That's nice. Is there anyone waiting for Oh, them? I just got kicked out. <laughs> it's okay. Well fine, I'm just Bye. I'm do this and just shut the door on you. Okay. So we're in direct competition with the Pearl Masons, who um, Dave Cross wants it to be like Fight Club. I, I don't. <laughs> so um, if you do actually need something pushing and you want some materials, or you need some help, or you want some ideas, come talk to me. Um, that actually works. I, I secretly uploaded that to all your brains nice. while you're watching this right now. It's in the random dot stereogram in the background. It is. <laughs> it's um, <laughs> no. It's not anything. <laughs> it's it's Mark code. <laughs> this invokes me. Do you not read? Look. Marketing item invoke MDK. Wow, we all felt that. So, there's another thing that happens this year. It's 25 years since oh, Pearl has released its version 1 this year. So, I'd like us to have a 24 day build up to that event. And I think we can do things. I'd like some ideas about things like hackathons, uh, mashup, code releases, get-togethers, whatever more you want. Um, we've got a few months in which to get all these ideas together, up to about June the 30th. We're fine up to about June the 30th to get the ideas together, and then we've got about five months to prepare it, and to get them ready, and then we'll have 24 days, like an advent calendar, leading to the 25th day, where we can have this. A single... Big fucking beer party. Yeah, <laughs> it should coincide with Pearl Oasis. So we have a day of Pearl. And there we go. Thanks.